Hello again. Well, in just a moment, I'll be chatting to the North Belfast artist who's just been painting some of the biggest actors for the movie Loving Vincent. But first, it's Friday the 13th. Just how superstitious are you? That's this week's Talking Point. Local artist Seamus O'Leary is one of a band of 100 painters from all over the world who worked on the first ever oil painting movie, Loving Vincent. Now, this role saw him creating some of the film's 65,000 paintings of the actors who included Saoirse Ronan, Aidan Turner and Chris O'Dowd. But before we chat, let's have a look at what exactly a hand-painted movie looks like. Here's a clip from Loving Vincent. You want to know so much about his death, but what do you know of his life? I know that he tried hard to prove he was good for something. Yes, he did. That's why I take flowers to his grave. Wow, that is amazing, Seamus. How on earth, though, did a wee boy from North Belfast come to work on a movie like this? <laughs> well, I've seen, the, I've seen the trailer a long time ago. Um, and I thought it was amazing, it was a, an amazing idea, a whole film made out of oil paintings. Um, I never thought that I would be selected for it, so I left it at that, but my friend sent me the website where they were actually, they had a call out for artists. So just, just for fun, I sent in my portfolio. I didn't think I would get anything back. And a few weeks later, uh, I got a phone call. And if you're not in, Poland. you can't win. Exactly. <laughs> so did you paint one of the characters or do you get to work on a few of them? So, well, er, each painter had to go through a, a rigorous training process um, before they were, they were able to actually start working on the film. Um, so first of all, they tested us and we had to paint one scene. Um, and a lot of painters at that stage were rejected. They were sent home. Um, but then after that, we had to do a further two scenes as training. And if we passed that stage, then we were on the film. So four, four scenes at least. <laughs> and it sounds like a labour of love, but also really intensive and hard work. How long did it take you? Yeah, um, so after about a month, I had about six seconds of oh, footage. Oh, no way. Yeah, so... Do you know, you... I've paid painters the same. It's <laughs> taken them that long to do a sitting room. Uh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> we were, you see, we, we were all painters that were used to sitting down for a month and planning a uh -huh. painting. Um, and we were expected to do four per day for this one. So when you watch, before we, we started the film, we were thinking, this is a brilliant idea, an entire film made out of oil paintings. And then when you started, you go, we know why people didn't do this before. <laughs> we know why this wasn't done before. It wasn't a good idea. But I believe you Van Gogh me. <laughs> I did, yes. And it happens to be sitting here. Uh -huh. Can I have a look? Sure. OK. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> and, and I think we've got timeline footage of, of you doing it. How long did this take? I, that's a, that's, you've that, got the eyebrows and everything. That was Saturday. <laughs> really? <laughs> Normally it would take me like about three weeks or four weeks to do uh -huh. a good painting. But I was using the techniques that we were actually taught during the training. Uh -huh. For Love and Vincent, and it's in the style as well. Which is completely different to your normal yeah, so, style of painting. Mm -hmm. Well, Seamus, that is just amazing. It's scary looking at that. She's looking at me. I'm going to have to <laughs> <laughs> have to stop looking at it. Actually, very quickly. What, what, the movie's just, a, is it about the life of Vincent or? It's, it's closer to being about the death of Vincent. OK. <laughs> you know, it is about the, sort of the final time of his life. Yes, it, it actually takes part, uh, it takes part after his death. Right. Um, and it's about somebody that he painted, um, Armand Roulant trying to figure out what happened to him. And there are a few um, mysteries surrounding his death, so okay. um, the whole story's built around that. Bit yeah. of intrigue. Oh, aye. OK, <laughs> I do like a bit of bit intrigue. Bit of a murder mystery. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Seamus, thank you so much indeed. And right. as I say, Loving Vincent goes on general release today. Up next, a few more ideas of things you can do this weekend or the week ahead. It's time for Pammy's Fix. Enjoy a night out in fine style at the Fashion Fest in the Guildhall in Derry tomorrow. It's the North West's biggest celebration of design and couture and has a distinctly romantic flavour this year with a series of stunning bridal gowns from the renowned British fashion...